Extortion. <laughs> Okay, the first lick is like he does a... Uh, kind of like those notes, right? Just like a... In the, you're in the key of A, right? So you got... Some kind of A scale there. And it's like he does... Holds that one for a second, then he goes... listen to it those are the notes basically this next one here's right out of your a minor pentatonic scale right out of that sound and it bends the uh, seventh fret up and then you've got five seven five seven five seven five seven something like that right right something something like that one what you got for this next thing, the, the, the second chord, or second verse, um, you've got an A, if you play your A bar chord here at the fifth fret, you play your A bar chord at the fifth fret, and you lose the, the, the bar, it's these three notes here, it's C sharp, A, and E, right? Just an arpeggio of that A chord, and that's what he's playing, and then before that he gets into it with a trill, just from the D to the E, and then he goes down that arpeggio. Then he bends the C sharp, which is at the uh, ninth fret up to the 12th fret. Which is just a one and a half step, but still it's a big bend. To kick it all off, he does the ninth fret E bent up also a step and a half. It's, uh, it's hard to get that harmonic perfect every time. As you can see by moving your pick. You get a real range of harmonics with that, so. Having your pick in the exact same spot. That's a challenge with some of those licks like that. The next move is just like a trill here at the right off the pentatonic scale on the B string, right? Something like that, right? So he's doing this trill, which is right out of your, right out of your box pattern. Right? And then you got uh, this, and then you can catch that A right here at the 10th fret. That's it, right? So pretty wild for 1976. So the first lick is just right out of the blues, as so much of his stuff is. It's just pentatonic scale, but you got this double stop bend lick. Then he fin he, when he gets out of it, he finishes off with a, just a little, right here out of the, you know, <laughs> right, that same lick, right? So there's another classic move, right? Then he gets into this tapping thing that's almost just like the same thing at Eruption. Same two notes from the pentatonic scale right out of here, out of the, your blue scale. And he's got a triple it, or off the A at the 10th fret. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. He moves it down one fret each time. And then you're, and it resolves to an A chord. Key of A, so you have A7, diminished, whatever that is, resolving to an A chord. So. Right? And then he gets out of it. Instead of just resolving to the A chord, he does a bend. And it's a sixth above it. I want to guess he taps it. This article I read said he said that said said it's another like fourth bend or something, but I'm pretty sure he probably goes. No, it's sorry. I was in the wrong fret. So that's a classic move. That's in like the beat it solo and stuff. So he's bending the note up. Then he needs an F sharp, 
which you could fret right here on the second fret. So that was how I played it the one time. But it could also be... And that to me sounds more like a Van Halen type move. So it's like a... <laughs> Wrong fret again, sorry. Something like that. Cool. There you go, so maybe you get some nines. Okay, so then up to the, here's our little A shape. This is like 18, 17, and then we're gonna bend this uh, 20th fret, I guess, up two steps. Right out of the pentatonic scale. time. 